All right, Shalom, Rastafari. We want to, let's begin with, um, first of all, a revelation. Many revelations have been revealed over the past few years, two to three years, especially on the YouTubes and um, and sharing, you know, and giving, as his majesty says, in order to be help, one should should help. And in order to learn, one should share the teachings. And what we want to touch on right here is the 2012, because there's been much talk and speculation on 2012. And as we've touched on this particular subject matter over the years, one would recall that we have not sought to really get into this subject matter before laying some basic, um, some basic foundation, a basic uh, groundation. Now, we want to call this particular lecture the 2012, uh, let's, let's call this um, Ad, Addis, the Addis Zemin 2012. And let's, and let's uh, bring this up right here so you can see this. This will probably be how we'll begin this particular begin this particular lecture off right here. See if we can get the video. See if we can get the video and if we can bring it to black and let's uh, zoom in on this a little bit here. Okay, that's too large. Bring it out some. Okay. All right, this is the Adis Zemin 2012. Now, Adis Zemin. The word Adis, as in the Hebrew, the Hadis. Hadis means to be new or to renew, but it also has a meaning. This particular word right here, A D S. A D S. The Ethiopic and the Royal Amharic is a very phonetical. It's it's a phonetic. It's, it's, a, it's a kinetic and it's a phonetic uh, language. Let's uh, do this. Let's update this here later. Let's see if we can get through this right here and bring up this video, um, which is speaking about a 40-degree tilt. Now, I'm sure many of you all hopefully have been able to check out different, there's different videos out there, some of them which are interesting concerning 2012. The History Channel has a series on Nostradamus in 2012 that in certain ways we find it to be very, very relevant. And no doubt you've seen, we've touched on a couple of areas, but not having gone into it fully. But this is the time to really get more into the Adis Zemin. What is the Adis? Adis. Adis. Zemin means new age. New age. Now, this particular name is the title of His Imperial Majesty's, one of the presses that His Imperial Majesty or the newspapers that His Imperial Majesty brought forward to, um, to Ethiopia. And it was called the Adis Zemin. Let's see if we can open this video up right here. It was called the Adis Zemin or the New Age. The New Age, which meant the New Millennium. And now we have to connect the revelation of uh, Aras Tefari with the true significance of the new millennium. What is the true significance of the new millennium of the new age? Now, the fulfillment of it is in and through the revelation of Aras Tefari. As the 12 tribes of Israel even said, greetings. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ, this day revealed in the person of Kedemawi Haile Selassie, in the person of the King of Kings of Ethiopia, all right, in the person of Jesus Christos. Now, we want to show you this video, but we're having a little bit of trouble accessing this is one of the let's bring that down we have a little bit of trouble accessing 
this particular uh, video right here. Let's close some of this up right here. I think we're online. All right. Here we go. All right, brothers and sisters. So let's touch on the Adis Zemin. The Adis Zemin <clears throat> is the new age, the new millennium. So His Imperial Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, our Godfather, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie the First. He is the one who initiated initiated this new millennium, this new age, the true new age. And the key connection is the coronation of His Imperial Majesty, November second, nineteen thirty A.D. So there's great significance to this particular. Let's bring this up. There's great significance to this particular Adi Zemin. This particular Adi Zemin and bring it to the negative right there. Okay. To Adi Zemin. What does Adi Zemin really mean and what does it really signify for us? And what is the prophecy concerning what is the prophecy concerning the Adis Zemin? What is the prophecy concerning the new age or the new millennium? Now this is very interesting because we'll have to bring up the scriptures as well. I have to bring up the scriptures as well. Let's bring this over and set this up. We're actually waiting for this video, but we're having a little trouble playing this particular this particular video right here. 